23rd annual Revlon uh, Run Walk for Women. Uh, that's tomorrow, May 11th. Please welcome the lovely Cindy Crawford. Goofy. Well, they were, I just don't understand neckwear as a concept. Oh, so. it is. You know, see, I my wife isn't here today, and usually I go, "Honey, is this tie right?" You know, I'm like an idiot. I just grab. It's goofy, isn't it? You can say. It's a bit horizontal. It's stupid, isn't it? <laughs> Should I get rid of it? I don't understand ties, though. That's what I'm saying. Oh, you, you don't like guys in ties? I just don't get neckwear as a statement. I mean, yeah. it's not. It's like totally. It's the only non-useful things Should that men wear. I like a denim yeah. with a jacket. Take it off. Take it off. You see what they do? You know, we need some stripping. You know what's really dumb? You know, you know what's really dumb? They put tape on it so it stays. See? <laughs> but it isn't it? But it normally it you can put stayed. your microphone under it, can't Yeah, you? normally you put your mic it's under it. It's a good microphone see how, hiding place. But see, it's got this. It is. You know, I just grabbed it, and you know, it wasn't until I did the monologue, I went, oh, this looks goony. <laughs> it does. It looks stupid. Goony. It looks goony. <laughs> That's even worse, isn't it? Yeah. Is there someone you hate? <laughs> well, it's almost Father's Day. <laughs> Dad? Now, see, you look great. Well, yeah, that's a good Father's Day tie. <laughs> exactly. Now, you look great. Now, that's a great outfit. That's well, like silver. Is, is that leather? They're like, or something? well. No, not leather. I think it just looks like leather. Oh, just like stretchy. Shiny. Yeah. It's just They're stretchy. actually very hot. I feel like I'm working. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> just sitting here, I'm losing weight. Well, you look great. <laughs> well, you've always looked. You know, your mom sent me something else, first of all, which I will ask you about, which is very. Strange, I got this thing from your mom, but she also sent a picture of you when you were five. Oh my look God, at this. Mother. No, you look cute. Look. Look. <laughs> okay, Aww. kindergarten. Oh, yeah, that's a great looking picture. Now, were you always like the most popular girl in high school? Did you do that whole thing? No, I wasn't on the cheerleading team, and I no? never, I wasn't homecoming queen or anything like that. Actually, there were two twins in my high school named Lisa and Lori, yeah. who I'm still friends with, but they were like, they always had the cute guys. They yeah. were, you know, they were homecoming. Did they ever take guys away from you? Well, they just had the ones that everyone wanted. Oh, I see. So, so, oh, so they had all the cute guys. Yes. Are they like big fat cows now? No, unfortunately. No? <laughs> they still look cute. Yeah. Do you no. wish they were? Kind of well, you know, there's those times. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was fun going back to my high school reunion because actually all the girls looked better. Yeah. Um, and you know, the guys, I must say, weren't quite as together as no, the girls. No. No. <laughs> that must be. But with all you've done, that must be great to go back to a small town in your high school and you hey, Cindy, it's me, Larry! You know, you know, like, like the guys that never left town, Cindy, what's happening? She stuck up. Yeah. <laughs> they, they were the same ones saying that in high school. Yeah, the though. same guy. It's, what was amazing is how people don't change. Like, the first, after two hours of being at the high school reunion, everyone took on the same roles that they had. Yeah, yeah. You know, it was like the same cliques, the same people that were talking. It was just so funny. It was hilarious. But now, let me ask you about this. Your mom, I got this from your mom. I, I'm scared because they told me back there, but I have no idea what you got. Um, well, you know, we do the funny headlines and odd stuff. And your mom sent me this. Does your mom like animal crackers? Well, she used to feed them to us. Oh, OK. Well, your mom sent me this. It's an animal cracker of two animals that appear to be uh, doing it for the lack <laughs> of anything else. No, look, here it is. Can oh I show? Gosh. This is from Cindy's mom. See, it's two animals kind of. <laughs> He said, oh, I thought you'd get a big... Good. Well, here, here it is. See, see, the two animals are kind of Where like... Where are the animals, too? It okay. looks like a mixture of, of species here. Well, it looks like a guy and a horse, but I didn't want to say that. <laughs> because it was from your mom, I gave her the so benefit of So they just, like, stuck together, and she Somehow thought it was they, And amazing. she thought, this is great. That's my mother for you. Yeah, does your mom yes. have that kind of sense of humor? Yes. How old is that? I don't know. You think it's real old? Because <laughs> knowing my mom, she's first. I'm sure she showed it all around the bench that she worked at. I'm sure. Every, I'm sure. I'm sure. Like <laughs> here, have some margarine. Oh, you have water. Mm. Because I'm sure about 20 people at the bank handled that <laughs> before you ate it. Well, thanks for telling me. But uh, just really, I just thought it was odd. Uh, Jennifer, right? Jennifer, mom. mom yeah. Jennifer got this. Mom to me. Jennifer Crawford, and a good-looking woman, by the way, and very attractive She woman. just did a commercial with me, and um, actually yesterday I was in DeKalb yeah. shooting. Um, they did a sister's book last year, and now they're doing a mother-daughter book. And for Mother's Day, I thought a nice present was to do the picture with her. So um, we were sitting, they, you know, they tried to catch, they didn't want me looking like Cindy Crawford. They want, like, more what you're really like. Yeah, mom home. and daughter. Yeah. So we were sitting on the back of her Honda, and she's sitting up on the trunk, and I'm sitting lower, and she's braiding my hair. Which is what she used to do to me when I was a little girl. So. Oh, that's neat. Oh, yeah. that's neat. 
It, now, was, the, it was very cute. It, it's the Cal of Illinois, small town. Yes. Now, how far is that from Chicago? About 60 miles. Okay, so, well, so you're pretty... Cornfield. ...safe environment. I mean, like, did anything ever, when you were a kid, did exciting things ever happen? Did you go to Chicago? I mean, what? Well, you would go to Chicago, but, I mean, it's a pretty small town. It's in the middle of cornfields, but when I was in eighth grade, um, they were actually shooting a movie in DeKalb, Illinois, which was, you know, for our small town, that was oh, a sure, big sure. deal. And it was about G. Gordon Liddy. <laughs> well, so. nobody said it was a good movie, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> actually, I don't even know if anybody ever saw the movie. But, um, you know, it was like my first brush with... Oh, did you, were you in it? Well, did I wanted to be. Yeah. So what do you do when you, you know, I was in eighth grade. I had like, my legs were four feet long. And so what, how old are you now, 13, 14? Yeah. No, no, what's, what's you mean eighth now, grade? eighth grade. No, what, no, what's eighth <laughs> Look, grade? they're all laughing because no, they know I'm 13. No, what's eighth grade? Um, uh, 14, 14, okay. Yeah. But I was the same height I am now. Right. And I remember putting my hair in hot curlers and putting on the shortest shorts I could find and getting on my Schwinn, 10-speed, and driving um, over to the set, you know? And like, you know, they have it all barricaded off right, like when right, they're right. doing movies. But, you know, I like schmoozed a few grips and lighting guys and like the PAs, and they let me be on the yellow tape. Right. But, you know, I, at the time, I thought talking to the grips was maybe gonna get me a small part in the movie, which it didn't. Um, but I did keep my virginity intact, so I'm proud Oh, of yeah, that. yeah. I, I understand those guys are just getting out of prison now. <laughs> like, what do they say? 16 will get you 20? <laughs> but, boy, that is, like, that is like some bad cable movie. You're a, you're a grip. You're in DeKalb. There's nothing to do. 14-year-old Cindy Crawford comes by on a bike. Hi, Colin. Okay, do I go to prison? Do I take the jail time? Oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, no one did. No, I know. I but you, uh... How do they know just when to chime in with the music, by They're the very good. They are so good. Now, I heard you you, you had, uh, was it tea with, with Lady Di? When... I did. She was in DeKalb? That's amazing. Yes. <laughs> no, I actually was in London yeah. doing a job for Pepsi, and her um, oldest son, Prince William, had wanted to meet me. Now, how old is he? He's 14. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great thing about being the king. I want Cindy Crawford in the palace now. <laughs> actually offered to come to me, which was nice. But um, <laughs> but I actually thought, hey, this is my big chance to see Kensington Palace. So yeah, I went there. Now, did you do like girl talk with Lady? I mean, what are you what are you talking to? Oh yes, the economy. I mean, she, what are you talking? There, well, I was so impressed. They're so normal down to earth. We, I was with my agent, who, um, you know, I've never met royalty before, right. and also as Americans, you're not really. We don't have royalty. We don't know protocols. Right. So the whole time we were worried, like, what are we supposed to address them as? And, uh, you know, I'm like, I don't know how to curtsy, so I hope that's not required. And we pull up. She's st my agent, by the way, the whole time in the car is like, I'm going to sign her. I'm going to sign her. Oh, how so? I'm like, Ruber, if you embarrass me in front of Princess <laughs> Diana, I will <laughs> never speak to you again. Hey, Princess Diana, get yeah. some cold cream commercials. Meanwhile, we pull up, and he's like, Nice to meet you, Your Royal Highness. He got, you know, he got so intimidated the second we got there. But she was waiting outside for yeah. us, and as were the boys, and they were just lovely. They were so yeah. down to earth, and um, we had a great time. Just waiting out in the street. Hey, here we are. I mean, you have to go. The fun part was like pulling up in the limo, and the driver's like, Cindy Crawford here for Princess Diana. You know, well, and, it, and they buzzed me right in. You know, and that I think it, it was that was one of the fun things when I call my mom and I'm like, guess who I met today? You know. And maybe she could have sent them the cracker. I hope she did not. I, I hope she did not. Now, tomorrow you're doing, uh, in fact, Kev is there too. We did yes, some things for for the Revlon uh, walk. Are yes. you going to be running? I am running, and, and I, um, Revlon asked me to host the event this year, and it's for breast cancer and ovarian cancer. And it's a run and a walk. And normally I would walk because I've never ran before, but I thought if I'm going to do it, I'm going to really train and get and run the it's only 5k so i thought okay you're gonna I run the whole i am gonna try flat out. Run no well i'm gonna jog i'm not gonna okay. win right. but i'm gonna finish well if you're running hard it's, it's tomorrow and uh every, it's open to everybody right yeah. come on down come on down it's at the um oh my gosh chevy at hills park it's century city and it starts around eight o'clock and it's 5k and Come, it'll be fun, and, and we're gonna hopefully raise a million and a half dollars, and about twenty thousand people will be there. So that's be great. great, Cindy. I know you got to run. Great. Thank you very we'll take much. Take that time with you, Cindy Crawford. Be right back with Butterbean right after this. Thanks, Cindy.